Witness an epic collaboration as Joey Fatone of NSYNC and AJ McLean of the Backstreet Boys join forces along with their sensational seven piece live band for their unforgettable concert tour, A Legendary Night. And I am so excited. You guys have no idea. AJ is joining me now to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show and thank you so much for joining us. I have to admit you are my favorite. Thank you. And you look amazing, by the way. Oh Phenomenal. my goodness, thank you. <laughs> Well, I love to hear that. You look and amazing thank you for as well. Me. So oh, let's talk about this collaboration stop, stop. because, oh, stop, are you blushing? Um, stop, this yeah, collaboration just is very, <laughs> it's very interesting to me, you know, because obviously like Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, uh, the height of fame at the same time. And, and I'll ask about if there were any sort of rivalries um, back in the day, but how did this collaboration come to be? So uh, it's kind of twofold. Uh, you know, Joey has been doing his own thing for quite some time now called Joey and Friends, where he does, you know, multiple shows around all over. Um, and he'll bring out some of his celebrity friends or from different genres of music. Um, and he puts on like a fun, you know, show with covers and some of the NSYNC songs and maybe some of, you know, whoever the special guest is, they'll do their songs. And then he reached out to me and to my bandmate, Nick, about putting together this show that we did in Las Vegas a little over two years ago called The After Party, uh, which was myself, Joey, Nick, and Wanye from Boys to Men. Uh, and the four of us kind of sang each other's songs, mixed in with some other special guests, um, as well as maybe doing a solo song if you had something from a previous solo project or whatnot, and a lot of crowd participation you know, having a live band, you have a lot more freedom to do so much more. Um, and then Joey and I kept talking after we did the after party about what if him and I did something together. And we both kind of have very similar tastes and very similar creative ways of thinking. Um, and we're we're kind of two peas in a pod, him and I. Uh, you know, not to say that this show wouldn't work with myself and Lance or myself and Chris or, you know, vice versa, but Joey and I really are like separated at birth in many ways. <laughs> um, and so when Joey and I talked about this, we were like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. We did Formula One. We did the show at Formula One. We also did a show in Tampa uh, back in, I believe it was in October. And uh, the fans just lost their mind. They thought it was very unique. It was a different show. To me, it's very much almost like a Vegas review. There's a lot of comedy, a lot of interaction with the fans, a lot of interaction with the band. We do covers. We do originals. We do uh, a lot of fun banter back and forth. Um, we do games. We do, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's almost like a variety show. Why did you want to do this for your fans? You know, I mean, that's the key thing is that this whole thing is about the fans. You know, Joey and I, you know, NSYNC has whatever they have coming. Backstreet Boys have some amazing things coming in the future. Ooh. You know, 20, 20, 2024 is kind of our our break. Uh, you know, we just finished up the DNA tour this past May. Uh, we're taking 2024 off with a couple of spot dates here and there. Um which is why, you know, we each give each other our, you know, blessing to do our, our own individual things. That's why I'm finally taking the time to finally do a solo thing, um, which I cannot wait for the world to hear. Two EPs and then a follow-up final full album uh, coming at the end of the year. Um, but, you know, we both, both bands truly have the best fans in the world. I mean, we wouldn't be... 30, 30, almost 31 years now. Oh my God. This April will be 31 years that we've been wow. together. That would not be a fraction of that if it wasn't for our fans. Yeah. Um, and I feel like we all grew seeing, up together. It, exactly. And seeing the response of the Trolls movie and seeing it sync back together after however long the fan response, that is a true testament to their fans. Um, you know, we love what we do and this show, you know, again, it's bringing fans of both bands together and fans of just music in general. I mean, we're all fans of music. We need music in our lives. Music heals us. Music brings us joy. If you're sad, it, it you know, lifts you up. Um, you know, music is what heals so many people. And if we can bring that same level of joy 
together to a, a mishmash of NSYNC and Backstreet fans under one roof, then heck yeah, man, that's what we're gonna do. Awesome, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I mean, I feel like this is such a, a big moment for me. Like, I, I never would have thought in a million years that I'd be able to talk to you. I grew up with you and going to your concerts and you guys are just amazing. And I cannot wait to see you on March 30th at the Florida Theater. Well, I can't wait to see you as well. And you're going to have one heck of a good time. So and thank you to everybody for all the love and support. And we will see all of you guys on the 30th. That's right. All right, everyone. Well, if you'd like to see this interview again, you know, you can head to First Coast News Plus on Apple TV, Roku or Fire TV.